Hello everyone, here we will discuss about the purpose of vector mathematical objects in machine learning and deep learning applications. Vector is a mathematical object which is having magnitude and direction for that particular feature. Here uh, the figure is having the vector representation always which is denoted with uh, uh, the notation with this arrow so which is indicating the vector representation here if we have the vector like this this length is indicating the magnitude of this particular uh, feature and this direction this orientation is indicating the uh, direction of this particular feature value so here the line length uh, is represented the magnitude so here which is giving you the representation of a single vector which is starting from the origin zero and this plot is giving multiple vectors which is having you look at that this is one vector here which is having which is starting from this point and ending at uh, this point so the length of the line is called magnitude then here we are having so many vectors here vector 1 vector 2 vector 3 and vector 4 which is having both direction and length of the line so like this here uh, we are having the calculation by using the vectors how we are using in the uh, mathematic mathematics so vector is having here x value is 3 and y value is 4 so here uh, this plot is representing this is the uh, uh, x value this point so 3 and uh, here we are having the y value which is having 4 so this is the point vector uh, we are representing then we have to calculate the magnitude by using the uh, hypotenuse of the right angled triangle by using Pythagorean theorem here ve vector is represented with x value and y value you look at this we are representing by using the uh, row vector or this one is representing the column vector so we can represent in any one of the way here we are going to calculate the magnitude of this particular vector v here uh, using the hypotenuse uh, of this given value square root of x square plus y square substituting the values we are getting 5 is the magnitude of this line so this length is the 5 which is the magnitude of the vector here which is giving p right the direction of the vector is calculated by using the notation by uh, uh, w which is having x divided by here no, norm x and y divided by norm y here we are going to apply the cos theta for representing the angle x by uh, norm x and cos alpha e equal to y divided by uh, norm y then we can say which is called w equal to by substituting this values cos theta comma cos alpha so here which is representing the theta orientation which is representing the alpha orientation for the given vector v here this point is the uh, we are going to calculating point which is having x value and y value here the relationship is calculated by using the dot product of two vectors that means the relationship between different vectors are calculated by using dot product so here we are going to calculate by using x dot y equal to norm x dot norm y dot here cos theta so when you are substituting the values for the cos theta so this is the cos theta values then finally you are getting the term by uh, uh, stri striking this uh, two values then finally you are getting x dot y equal to x1 y1 plus x2 y2 then uh, when you are calculating the angle theta and angle alpha so this is also a beta value so here we are having two vectors this one and this one so we are going to find the relationship by using this uh, dot product so here the theta is here a uh, beta so this one entire angle minus this alpha so we will get the beta minus alpha then when you are substituting the cos in the orientation we will get uh, this term cos beta cos alpha plus sin beta sin alpha when you are 
substituting the values so cos beta is here uh, x1 divided by norm x y1 divided by uh, y, norm y is the cos alpha already we have got here uh, in this notation then sin beta is x2 divided by x bar x norm x and sin alpha is y2 uh, divided by norm y so this is for second vector okay this is for first vector so then from this equation we are getting x1 y1 plus x2 y2 here norm x norm y so based upon that we can calculate the relationship between two vectors here where we are requiring this vector vectors in deep learning and machine learning this vector mathematical object is used to represent the collection of values or uh, features given in the data set x1 x2 etc xn are the features this is target output or desired output so here the vectors in deep learning are typically representing a column vectors which is returning vertically for example you look at that this is the sample which is having feature values 3010 uh, here so this is or in deep learning and machine learning uh, with respect to neural network which is using uh, the column vector to represent its data value for each sample so here which is represented here and if you want to use uh, apply the transpose right you will get the values in the form of uh, uh, transforming the row vector into column vector here uh, the uh, each and every vector is having a list of numbers that's what feature values so that's what given here and now uh, if, you, if you take any data set which is represented by using the house price df dot ilvc of the uh, zeroth uh, sample right so here we, when you want to representing this one uh, we are uh, uh, having this value which will be displayed by using the one feature okay so zeroth uh, feature value we are going to represent so representing the multiple features also possible uh, here you look at that we are going to represent a uh, single column by using all the rows okay all the rows uh, here we are uh, going to represent uh, sorry single row that is zero row is represented by using the value one so here in the python the uh, uh, n minus one number of values will be taken in the list so here one dimension vector is representing the values of this uh, two features bedrooms under square underscore fit so two columns uh, uh, two columns values we are going to representing with single row so this is row vector then if you want to representing that data in the form of column vector then we can use the same feature names what dot values applying the transpose that's what we have represented in this slide when you are applying the transpose to the row vector then we can get the uh, column vector you see so same values are row vectors representing in the form of column vector so here two rows and a single column so that's what represented in this uh, slide so uh, vectors are very useful to represent the data in the deep learning model few uh, vector operations also available for deep learning and machine learning one is element wise multiplication which are involving multiplying each corresponding element with two uh, vectors together so here vector a is given with the two three four row vector vector b which is also having three values here or uh, one two three so when you are applying the element wise multiplication so just it is taking the first value from the first vector and first value from the first vector second value from the second vector second value from the sorry first vector and second value from the second vector so like that it is applying the multi, uh, element wise multiplication finally you are getting the a result in the form of vector so this operation is mainly used in the process of attention mechanism weighted computations and element wise interactions so here the weight parameters and some attention that is uh, uh, focusing some particular region in the image 
so there also that intensity values will be used uh, so that well there also we are going to use uh, the uh, uh, vectors for representing the intensity uh, values then uh, here we are applying the dot product so dot product also using the vectors first vector second vector so here again element wise multiplication but we are uh, getting the scalar value as the output so here the dot product is uh, giving you the scalar value but uh, element wise multiplication is giving you the vector as a result thanks for watching